Good morning. We're finishing the prayer of Jabez today. And it says in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, And Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from evil so that I will be not cause pain. And God granted his request. Did you hear that? God granted his request. The answer was yes. He blessed him. The answer was yes. God's hand from that moment was with him. The answer was yes. He kept him from evil. Wow. The answer was yes. He didn't cause pain in his life. In fact, he's caused a great deal of blessing. Have you been blessed? As you've heard about the prayer of Jabez, millions have as they've read it in the scriptures. I bet he didn't know that though his life had started with being so negative, that he'd end up as being one of the heroes of the Bible, with millions of people in the church praying his prayer, some on a daily basis. I often pray this prayer. It's a great prayer, I hope you will too. The prayer of Jabez. Brothers and sisters, if you go and cry out to the God of Israel, sincerely, you will be heard. God has not said to Jacob, seek me in vain. God isn't playing games with us. When Jesus says, ask and you will receive, he meant it. When Jesus said, everyone who asks receives, he meant it. Brothers and sisters, let's be asking, because if we get asking, we'll be receiving. We'll be receiving blessing. We'll be receiving keeping from evil. We'll be receiving and seeing the mighty hand of God in our life. We will be delivered from pain and not cause pain as we pray. Brothers and sisters, let's pray. Let's pray, not just the prayer of Jabez, but our own prayers. As God puts his word and his prayers into our hearts, as the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness, when we don't know what to pray, he helps us with groans and cries and sighs that are too deep for words. Let's get praying and we will be blessed. Amen. Lord, thank you for the prayer of Jabez and the life of Jabez. We ask you that we would become the same, that we would go and cry out to the God of Israel, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and we would receive every spiritual blessing in Jesus Christ. Amen.